Alrighty, good morning. So a couple days ago, I got my first ever K's Scented Melts order. So I wanted to film it. So I got five samples, which is more than generous. Uh, the first one is Sweet Potato Brown Sugar. And I'll show you the little shape. It's a little pumpkin. And that's what it smells like. Very fall. Sweet Potato Brown Sugar. I like that. Um, I'll probably break it up and put it in my bedroom because I have two warmers there. But let's see, I almost got that one too. <laughs> and then next one is Bright Side. I'm not going to take him out just because I already showed you the pumpkin. And very orangey. I'm not the biggest fan of orange, but it's a sample, so I love it and appreciate any sort of samples. Next one is Snickerdoodle and just two little squares. I think. Yep, just typical snickerdoodle cookie. So um, most of the samples go in my bedroom just because I have two warmers. But let's see here, lemon pound cake. I almost got this one too. So it's nice because now maybe next time because of these samples, I could get it. Oh, yep. I'm not a big, it's funny because I just said with orange, like I'm not a big orange fan, I'm not a big citrusy person. But I remember growing up, I used to have lemon pound cake with tons of whipped cream, but so I do like that. Jade, um, cute little leaves. Let's see here. I feel dumb because I don't know what this smells like. I don't know. I think eucalyptus maybe? I don't know. I'm not really getting like a strong scent note, but I'm sure that samples were probably just poured recently. I appreciate everything. So we're gonna start with my one that was a K cuts eight ounce, which is a bunch of blocks or squares or chunks, whatever you wanna use the correct term for, but it's supposed to be cotton candy, caramel apples, and funnel cakes. But I'm really upset because, I'm not upset, but I don't smell anything. So I'm wondering if she just poured it, but here's the, so when I melt these, I'll probably cut each one in half, um, but it is eight ounces. But I don't smell anything. <laughs> so I'm kind of bummed. I shouldn't say anything. I smell very, it's very light. Um, I was really expecting the funnel cake or funnel apples to pop out. And I smell very light, very, very light funnel cakes. So I shouldn't say I'm upset. That's a bad choice of words. But I'm just kind of bummed because I thought it was going to be a little bit stronger. The other thing is, I just got this a couple days ago. And I don't know if she just poured it. So I'm going to give it two weeks. And just because it smells light on cold doesn't mean that on warm it's not going to smell amazing. So I've learned to not get too upset or, you know, too bummed about it. But I was just, like, so excited when I opened it. I dug through my package to find, because that's the only, everything else was clamshells to grab this. And I was like, oh, it's really light. But not everything has to be a powerhouse. But I'm hoping at least on warm, I'll be able to smell the two scents I really want to smell, which is the caramel apples and the funnel cakes. Um, like I said, it also has cotton candy in it. And it's there. And I, that's that's fine. So we'll see how it does. So let's see. The rest are, like I said, are clamshells. Bake shop, buttery vanilla, fresh dough, cake batter, sugar, and almond. Anything almond is amazing. Yep. Yep. I get the fresh dough cake batter. And then, hold on, I like feel like I'm going to cough. No, okay. Um, <laughs> but I wasn't sure because I, I don't know if I really like doughy smells, but I appear to. So I was kind of hesitant of getting this at first, but I really like it. Oh, next one is Bonfire Bliss. Dry leaves, smoky woods, toasted mallow, and sweet vanilla. So I'm obsessed with anything campfire -y. Um Here in Minnesota, it's starting to get to like 50, 60 degrees at nighttime. So I warm some of my like just full on smoky scents. And I'm wondering if my neighbors think that I'm like, I don't know, just being weird or something. And that's fine, whatever. But I mean, it smells just like straight smoke. I'm surprised the fire department hasn't come to be like, are you okay? Like, you know, we smell smoke. And it's just all my warmers 
smelling of a campfire or um, you know something along those lines. Okay, brown fireplace. So I do get the smoky woods, um, the sweet vanilla definitely. Dry leaves maybe not so much, but I do get the toasted mallow, but that smells great. Wonderful. Um, pumpkin peanut brittle. Caramel brittle, peanuts, and toasted pumpkin seeds. I love this. I need this in, um, in one of these, in the eight ounce bag. I am, I'm not the biggest pumpkin person to, you know, have like a pumpkin latte or whatever, or even like uh, pumpkin pecan waffles. Like I don't like to eat those or anything, but I love smelling them. And pumpkin peanut brittle, same thing. Like I'm sure it tastes good. I just, I'm like the pickiest eater in the world and I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to eat it, but I want to just smell it. Like, I don't know. It's so weird to me because yeah, like when you know, pumpkin lattes come around and everything. People are like, well, you, you know, you like the smell of them. I go, yeah, but I just like the smell. Like, I don't like the taste of them. Crystal Lake, autumn flannel, pine cones, and midnight waters. Look at how pretty this blue is. Because everything else is mostly like the same color. But I do like this. So I do get the autumn flannel and the pine cones. The midnight waters, you get it after like a second. Yep, it smells good. So that would be like a good bathroom scent. I don't know why I always put the ocean stuff in my bathroom. Nothing wrong with it. I just, I guess maybe I like to savor them more. Um, pumpkin pecan waffles. Vanilla pumpkin waffles, brown sugar, pecans, and cream. I could have got this in one of those bigger bags too, but yeah. Smells wonderful. Smells just typical. I mean, it even says uh, Bath and Body Works type. So smells wonderful. Toasted marshmallow. Smells like a toasted marshmallow. And I thought this one would be good for blending stuff if I want more of like the smoky smell, like the toasty smell. Apple cider donut, fried apple donuts rolled in cinnamon and sugar. <clears throat> very, very wonderful. You get everything, it just, it all comes at once. Wonderful. I was kind of sad. I some of these I should have gotten like loads, but I just wanted to try everything out. I don't know why I was like so daring with the county fair one. Salted pretzel milkshake. I'm telling you right now, I I love salty foods and everything. This I could get in the loaf in one of those bigger bags, and I'm going to. Vanilla ice cream, pretzel bits, chocolate drizzle. Now, I don't like chocolate and wax, and I know a lot of people don't. Um, you really honestly don't get much of the chocolate drizzle, because I was a little scared. That's why I was like, ooh, clamshell, clamshell, let's just do that. It, it literally, you get just pretzel. I mean, you do get the, the milkshake, but it's, I mean, 95% pretzel. I love it. I love it. I don't know. I just recently have become addicted to pretzel stuff. But I love pretzels in real life, so I don't know. Sunday brunch. This is another one I could get in a loaf or a bag or something. Pancakes, waffles, bacon, maple syrup, clove, and spice. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of cloves and spices, but what you smell is literally pancakes, waffle, and then the bacon maple syrup. I don't really smell any cloves or spices. And that's good. Good to me, I should say. Pumpkin sugar donut, uh, Bath and Body Works type. Oh, sorry. I know some of them have said that, and I haven't read them all off. I think there was only a couple so far. Um, pumpkin donut rolled in sugar and spice. Now, I just said I don't like sugar and, uh, sugar and spice. Or no, what did I say? I don't like clove and spice. So this one, I think will be fine. Cause I just feel like with spice, I know it's a spice, it's gonna be spicy. Sometimes they're just too spicy for me, but that one should be fine. It smells really good. Cracklin' Birch. Okay, I know I've said this in last videos and I'm so sorry, I do not know how to pronounce that V word. Is it Vitver, Vitver? I don't know. Citrus, that one word, patchouli, and then patchouli vitver. I'm sorry, I, like, I know I sound like a two-year-old, but like I just don't know how to say it. <laughs> and tonka bean. So, 
this smells, um, I don't know if it's because it's like that one word that I don't know how to say. This smells very perfumey. It, are, is patchouli supposed to smell perfumey? Maybe? I don't know. It smells, it smells like a woman's perfume. I don't know. I mean, it smells fine, but let's see. Haunted House Season. It's a house blend. Smoky fallen leaves, apple clove, butter, pumpkin, pecan, waffles. Okay, so I am getting a lot of the apple butter, the apple clove butter. But, yeah, honestly, let's see. I smell the smoky fallen leaves because you get a smoky scent, but I'm not smelling as much of the pumpkin pecan waffles. It smells good. It smells good. Let's see here. Pumpkin caramel crunch. Caramel, butter, orange peel, maple, butter, and pumpkin. Let's see. So I am getting the caramel and butter. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I have laryngitis, I think. I've had it for like six months on and off so I just kind of clear my throat every once in a while sorry about that I'm not really getting the orange peel which is good <clears throat> sorry sorry <laughs> I'm gonna try not to do that um, I do smell butter pumpkin yeah I would say I pretty much smell everything except for the orange peel which to me is fine but it smells good it smells really good French bread, what is sladkin type? I don't know what that means. Buttery warm yeast bread. That's what it smells like. That would be a good um, blender, I feel like. And then apple fireside, marshmallow fireside, Macintosh apple and Palo Santo. Oh, so you get the Mac apple right away. I'm not getting too much of the marshmallow fireside yet, but I am getting very faint Palo Santo, but Mac apple is pretty strong. So I feel like everything was successful. Um, like I said, the only thing was the county fair, that big box, or big box, the big bag. Um, I think maybe just needs to cure for a little bit longer, and that's fine. Um, does anyone know how long we're supposed to let it cure for? I let everything cure for a minimum of two weeks. And, uh, yeah. So, this is my first time ordering from Kay's. was very happy with the order, and I do like that you can just order whenever you want because it, it's just, it's so much easier. I work really weird hours. I'm in retail and I'm a dog groomer, so I have to work like the holidays and the weekends and stuff, and obviously being part of retail, but I can't always just set my alarm to do the restocks. And some people can, and that's great, but I feel like for most people, it is a little bit tricky to do that. And then um, I tried doing it at work with the teddy bees and it happened to work out, but I was like, oh, well, this is great, but I don't think it's ever going to work out again because I can't put the dogs away to set an alarm and purchase stuff. But, um, yeah, <clears throat> I do like that she um, lets you do customs. I might mess around with some of the customs a little bit more. Like, I've never purchased any customs, but I've sat there and just kind of played around and been like, let's try this and that. I guess I'm not that creative, I feel like. I can sit there and say okay these three cents smell good together but then when it says like what percentage i'll be like i don't know even percentage 33 percent each i don't know so i might mess around with that um i will be ordering again i don't know maybe sometime next week i want to try and melt something first and of course it'd probably just be like the samples first but um yeah for the most part, I feel like everything smells good. And I'm sure this one will smell good on warm. Like, I really have no doubt. But it's just light. And, you know, maybe um, I just, yeah, not everything has to be, like I said, a powerhouse. So 
maybe it's just supposed to be a little bit lighter compared to other vendors and I try not to compare or anything like that because they all do a great job just different um you know percentages of oils and all that stuff so anyways thanks for watching and I will be back soon with another haul video thanks bye